First thing I need to do is uh, pick up that wood I cut the other day. If I leave it too long, I won't be able to find it anymore until spring. Well, let's get this fire going. Excited to have an outdoor fire again today. It's dark at 5.30 and it's 7.30 before it even starts getting light. Still want to sit in the tent all night. Nothing more relaxing than a hot fire on a cold winter day. usually keep a lot of wood around. I have enough for two days. Stuff I'm using today I uh, brought in here a couple days ago and the stuff that I brought in today is actually for another day. 
this way it gives it another day or two to uh, dry up. Today for supper I'm going to have some uh, frozen hash browns, some sausage and some onions. Some vegetable oil here, it's kind of frozen. That'll work. This is a simple one pot meal. Well, let's see how this tastes. It's pretty good. I like to listen to audiobooks when I'm winter camping. Nights are about 14, 15 hours long, so there's not much to do at night. The one I'm listening to now is Canoeing with the Cree. It's by Eric Severide. It's a 2,250-mile trip uh, that, from Minnesota to Hudson Bay in 1930. It was completed by two te teenagers, and it took them three months to do it. A party of Indians from God's Lake met us as we were camping. Except for looking us over curiously, they did not try to become acquainted. After supper, Moses and Jimmy joined the group about their fire in a talk which lasted until we were ready for bed. As we were drifting to sleep, we heard the voices of all of them raised in a murmurous chant. Their prayers, Ralph whispered to us from his bedroll, always say them out loud. In the morning, Walt and I watched them make the portage. A boy about 16 years old trotted away over the quarter-mile portage with a very heavy canoe on his back. True, he could not get it up on his shoulders alone, but he made the run entirely unassisted. Carrying things on their shoulders and necks seems to be born in the Indian children. Later, we saw a boy about 10 years old stagger up a steep hill with 100 pounds of flour on his back. Still snowing. Decided to try out a buddy heater tonight. I'll let the stove go out and um, I'll leave this. Probably set it at low. See if we can get a better night's sleep than you can with the stove. Good morning. Had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Slept all the way to 8 o'clock. Got the stove started again. I let it go out last night around midnight when I went to bed. I uh, turned on my uh, buddy heater. It worked really good. Temperature was about 6 degrees when I got up this morning. It's about minus 10 outside. It's nice to have a nice constant temperature when you're sleeping at night. Sleeps much better. Gonna have myself a cup of coffee. Well, it's supposed to be cold today. Partly sunny. It was actually sunny a little while ago. Got out and fed the birds.
like it stopped snowing last night. I think we had a few more inches and that's about it. The nice thing about winter is you can see tracks in the snow. I've been seeing fox tracks for quite a while now. And it's just recently they actually saw the fox. There's also a lot of coyotes around. You could hear them last night. There's tracks all over the place too. I usually go and check uh, around my campsite to see if there's any tracks around.